In this derivation, we're going to prove Newton's second law, which we have a, set, a special example of uh, in the formula F is equal to ma, so force is equal to mass by acceleration. We begin this uh, proof by stating uh, what a force is, uh, and in this case, for Newton's second law, the force is going to be proportional to the rate of change in the momentum of an object. To get the change in momentum, we need to know what the starting and the final momentum are for the particular object that we're looking at. And all that momentum is, it's the mass of the object multiplied by the velocity of the object as it travels. If we want to have the change in the momentum, we need to know what the starting momentum is and what the final momentum is. So we've said that momentum is mass multiplied by the velocity. So the final momentum that the object would have would be its mass multiplied by its final velocity, which in this case would be v, minus what the starting momentum was, which was the mass multiplied by the initial velocity of u. To get the rate of change in that, we have to divide the right-hand side by time. Our next step is to basically get rid of that proportional sign and turn it into an equal sign. So our first step in doing that is we multiply the right-hand side by a constant, and you can use any letter you want, but we'll just use the letter k. So we have then that the force is equal to the constant multiplied by everything in our fraction, mv minus mu, which is the change in your momentum, all divided by the time. There's a common factor on the top of our fraction, which is just the mass of the object. So then we have f is equal to km, and then in the brackets we have v minus u, all divided by the time. We remember that everything inside of the bracket is just the acceleration formula, our final velocity of v minus the starting velocity of u divided by the time it took to change those velocities. So we then get a formula uh, of f is equal to the constant k, the mass, multiplied by the acceleration. And we're almost finished the proof, but the one remaining piece of it is what do we do with this constant k? How can we possibly deal with that? Because when we look back up at the actual formula that we're trying to get the special case of, which, which is the f is equal to ma, there's no constant in that. So what we're going to do is think about the three sets of units that we are going to have down in this formula. Okay, Our first set of units for force are going to be measured in newtons. And we know that if we have one newton of force, we know that we will have to have a mass of one kilogram being accelerated by one meter per second squared. So if we apply those units to the formula in the green box, we'll end up with one newton of force is going to be equal to the k, which is our constant, multiplied by the mass of one kilogram if it has an acceleration of one meter per second squared. And when we solve that formula for k, we basically get that k is just equal to the number 1. So when we go back to our formula in the green uh, box, if we substitute in uh, the number 1 for k, we then get, as expected, our value for the formula f is equal to ma, which is a particular special case of Newton's second law, as long as that constant is equal to 1.